been staying here for a week. I came here to have some one-on-one -on -one time with the Lord. Uh, he's really, really met me here. I came to Plus Carton Abbey here. The cows are looking at me suspiciously. <laughs> but I um, really came here to seek the Lord. And you know there are times when we need to do that. We need to have that one-on-one -on -one time with Him. We need to have retreats. We need to come away from all the distractions of life and come and kneel before the author of life. The church that I've been in is a thousand years old, over a thousand years. And I was just thinking how wonderful their worship is and how much they reverence God. And uh, although there may be differences in doctrine I tell you, I've received hospitality and just a acceptance and a love. I've been welcome, except for the library. And uh, it's just a beautiful, beautiful place. But the thing that really erupted in my spirit just a few moments ago is that this, this valley, which is just a small, small part of his creation, this valley is his cathedral. This is where he truly deserves all the praise. The Lord really did speak to me this week in several ways. He gave me some verses that really speak into my life situation. He gave me some direction. And, uh, but more than anything, he just confirmed the favor of God. I just sense his favor, I just sense his benefits. I just sense his love for me. And you know, I'm no different than you. All we really need is just a desire. A desire to come before him. To find time with him. And he'll give you the same. He'll still be move, he'll moving your life as well. Maybe not exactly the same way as myself. You don't have to come seven hours away from your home to find this. You could find this in your prayer closet. You could find this in your local park or the beach. You know, I think we should set aside places that are really special between you and the Lord. It. There's an expectation that builds in us. It's a bit like faith. It is faith. We have an expectation that He's going to meet with us. And He does. I give it. The first night I was here, just the presence of God was just. just on. just. it was so. Hard to explain. It was outside of myself. It was just surrounding me. Just the weight of it. And 
it's hard to describe. I was overflowing. It was so much that I couldn't even... I didn't know what to do with it. Except, you know, when you're basking in this full heat of the sun at the beach, if you wish, you can raise up the umbrella, try to block it out. But if you've been living in rain and cloudy weather, gray skies for weeks and weeks and weeks, what are you going to do? You're not going to raise your umbrella. You're going to open up your... you want to receive it all. So, the Cathedral of God is before us. And doesn't have to be this beautiful. But find your cathedral, find your closet. Go and spend time with Him. Your Lord is calling you because He wants to put upon you His Spirit. The same Spirit that was upon our Lord Jesus. He said from Isaiah 61, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has anointed me. He has smeared upon me. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has anointed me. To set free the captives. Jubilee. He wants to do the same upon each of us that are called his, called by his name. To be a people who will serve him by serving others, bringing others into the place where they know him. And they're not bound up by sin and struggles, but they're completely free. That's the desire of God's heart for you and for me. Amen. Salah.